hoes sick that I'm colder, but they older. What? You just not that bitch. That's what I had told her. Bitch, they prayed on my downfall as a seed, but I was born a boy, baby. Trust and believe I handle any bitch that got a problem. Little dog turned big dog, they can't hold me. Can't. Bringing up my past just to show you really know me. Oh. Honestly, it kind of just like really broke my heart. If I'm gonna keep it a buck, because they look so good, but it's like y'all are literally going to have an orgy. You couldn't give me a million dollars to put some out like that. I don't care. Where's your integrity? Where are your morals? Where are your values? Where? This one is going to be very triggering. OnlyFans, so let's just get into that one, Trail. Y'all, I really feel like OnlyFans is being out of control. I seen this one video and I think it really triggered me and it really wanted me to make this topic. So I don't know if y'all seen it, but pretty much it was, it's the black gay porn company called Pleasure You. And they recently did this video and it was like the dudes, they was walking down the hallway and they was in these onesies. And then like the onesies had the ass out and it was like four or five of them, something like that. But y'all, honestly, it kind of just like really broke my heart if I'm gonna keep it a buck because they look so good, but it's like y'all are literally going to have an orgy. You couldn't give me a million dollars to put some out like that. I don't care. Where's your integrity? Where are your morals? Where are your values? Where? And I'm not judging anybody for what they do, but just for me, I feel like it's just way too lustful. I feel like it's very much so just, uh, just sleeping with people, that many people, and like, all the soul ties that I know could come with that and just the emotional turmoil that it can really do to your spiritual and emotional health. It's just not, and you know, I just really, really hate that. I'm not gonna say I hate, cause hate is a strong word, but I just really dislike that that is such a popular thing because I really feel like it takes away from true love. I feel like it takes their energy away from their true gifts and abilities and skill sets. And I feel like they could just use their time and energy in a more healthy way and that they could just do something different that's just not so lustful and it's not just like fast cast. And that's another thing I want to say. I feel like it's fast cast in a sense to where like, you know how niggas sell weed. Like, yeah, selling weed or pills or whatever you're selling. Like, it's going to get you that money quick. Of course it is. It's going to get you what you need. What he say? Drug money. It can get you what you wish about, bitch. Drug money. It can buy you what you wish about. Like, yes, it is and it can be beneficial. I feel like the long-term effect, like, it's just dangerous. Like, you know, you can get killed out here in these streets. You can go to jail for a long time, be away from your kids, be away from your family, be away from your loved ones. So I feel like it's similar to that. Like, yes, you get some quick money, you get some good money, but at the end of the day, I feel like you're risking your health. It's just over-sexualized. I just hate how everything is so over-sexualized. I think some gay dudes can be over-sexualized and they can use their sex and sensuality. They just make it their main focus and it's just not cute respectfully and i used to do it as well so i'm not judging but i just feel like we're so much better and we're so much more than just sex and just you know hookups and just i just feel like we're so much better than that and i feel like we should be doing more and we should be doing better with ourselves i don't know i'm saying we like i'm only OnlyFans or and i will say i did have an only fans and y'all like I tried to do it, but like, I was honestly just posting thirst traps. I, I, I wasn't posting like no nudes. I just didn't like the way it made me feel. I just, ugh. Yeah. Like, I just, I just couldn't get into it personally. Sex work is one of the most spiritually taxing thing you could ever do. Every single sex worker I've ever known from my life who does OnlyFans and does premium Snapchat, they're spiritually being taxed. Because when you do that kind of content, people are always going to expect that of you and perceive you a certain way. What you put out is exactly what people are going to perceive of you. If you post yourself on social media, shaking your ass constantly, busting your poom poom wide open, you better believe people are going to walk up to you and automatically view you as a sexual being. If it was someone like Kelly Rowland, he wouldn't dare have done that shit. But because of Suki Hana, he wanted to do that. He views her as like a Jezebel spirit. She's very sexy and seductive and repulsive. And that's why he did what he did. Doesn't make it okay. I'm a just a nine to five type of nigga, honestly. I'm a just get it out the mud, a nine to five way, entrepreneur way. But yeah, so that's just really how I feel. So yes, I really, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please be looking out for more videos and Keep y'all vibration high as y'all should. 
I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing night, morning, whenever you're watching this. And I really hope that you share this video. I hope that you subscribe, like, comment, and get ready for some more juicy ass topics because it's gonna get better and better and better and better. Mark my words. The sick that I'm colder, but they older. What? You just not that bitch. That's what I had told her. Bitch, they yeah. prayed on my downfall as a seed, but I was born a boy, baby. Trust and believe. I handle any bitch that got a problem. Little dog turned big dog. They can't hold they me. Can't. Bringing up my past just to show you really know me. Oh, yeah. they